And what is up everyone, it's the All Gaming Blog here, bringing you another gameplay of uh, Black Ops 2. No, I am not playing this game yet, unfortunately. This is some video footage from Gamescon, so uh, all credit goes to them, I'm just commenting over it. Uh, and I'm gonna obviously talk about Black Ops 2, but instead of using any other video footage from Black Ops 1 or even Modern Warfare 3, I'm using video footage from Black Ops 2. Now, I'm not gonna make much more videos of this. I'm gonna do a lot more dual comms and uh, play a lot more Modern Warfare 3 while I can because it's a couple of months is right on the corner. Black Ops 2 is almost coming out. This is ridiculous, and I think that I've already pre-ordered and will be playing it as soon as it comes out. Uh, I'll, I'll still be playing Modern Warfare 3 most likely, but probably not as much. You know, we just won't make much any more videos from. Uh, Modern Warfare 3 as soon as Black Ops comes out. So that answers the, those questions. Another questions I've been getting is uh, my if my Fallout 3 uh, playthrough is still going on. Yes, it is. I uh, just not I haven't recorded it yet because I've I haven't had the time uh, because of my new gaming network that I've just made and I've been dedicating all my time and efforts into that. Uh, that's a whole other thing. Let's talk about Black Ops 2. Now I got some key points right in front of me. Which is something that I want to focus. Now I know a lot of you, big YouTube commenters already uh, discussed this, so I'm just trying to take my intake in this in a kind of a different approach. One other thing is kill streaks or point streaks on the Black Ops 2. So as you may or may not know, on the Modern Warfare 3, they try to give you guys uh, a little bit more objective gameplay, where you have uh, point streaks, where you, you if you like collect, do an objective, collect a f capture flag or uh, get an, you know, uh, yeah, it's usually capture the flag or, or just hold the flag or whatever the objective is, plant a bomb, whatever. You get a point uh, that counts towards your kill streak, which previously you wouldn't really get in any uh, Call of Duty so far, you wouldn't really. So that wasn't much incentive into playing objective game modes as an objective. That's going to return on Black Ops 2, and it's actually going to be a lot more uh, emphasis on it, in the sense that instead of just uh, basically ga gaining one point from capturing the flag, you'll uh, in objective game modes you'll get more points by doing the objectives than actually getting kills. So that incentivates players to just play objective games objectively, other than just you know screw the game and just sit in the corner and try to get a mohab and get a high KDR, to me that's just, that's the playstyle that a lot of people do that I think is just wrong and hopefully Black Ops 2 it will kind of counter at that. There's always going to be campers, there's always going to be people uh, not playing objectively at all and just playing single play uh, by solo basically, but hopefully uh, it will be counteracted. Another thing on point streaks is there is no more uh, strike packages. That's completely gone, unfortunately, because I did love the the strike packages from Modern Warfare 3, the assaults and whatever. Uh, I did like I did like them a lot. It was a great addition, but they're gonna keep that on the Modern Warfare series, not on the Black Ops, unfortunately. So any kill streaks that you get, all your points get reset upon death and. That's that's basically it. Which I okay, I kind of agree, and I see how it can be really overpowerful not to. But and yeah, just did the dolphin dive right there. She's awesome. It's back, of course. Right. So uh, about the knife, uh, the knife, panic knifing or whatever you guys call it thing. The panic knifing is back. There was a rumor that it wasn't, but it is back. What happened is you will not be able to lunge with the knife. What what do I mean by this? I mean, if you panic knife currently in front of a person, you'll sort of kind of do a lunge. Uh, with commando, that distance would be greatly increased, but they removed commando. So, but you still do a lunge, even if short distance, it's there. Not anymore. Not on Black Ops 2. Lunge will be completely out of the equation there. You can panic knife, but if you're not really close to the to your enemy, you will not really hit him, and you will just basically eat hair. So that's out of the question. There's going to be a lot more about knives, but I think it's already been covered by Woody's gamer tag, and I'm not just going to not go to go there. Uh, again, it's more focused on team play and objective play rather than solo and not you know not playing the objectives, just getting kills. Although Slayers can still get kills and you're still gonna get points which count towards your killstreak, 
But if you do really get the, you know, if you just capture the flags or if you destroy the objectives, if you do whatever, if you get the tags, if you do whatever objective that you have to do, you'll be rewarded more. You'll get more points. Uh, your team obviously will win, uh, so you'll contribute more to the game and obviously will be rewarded more than just sitting in a corner and shooting people and that's about it. Uh, the maps on this game, I don't think anybody has spoken about the maps but I will try to cover it in this game. The maps for this game are focused more like maze-like maps really. If you pay attention to all the gameplays that are out there you'll see that the maps are very close uh, quarters combat. What this means is there's a lot of uh, like a maze, you know, there's not many open areas, there's just really, really uh, tons of corners, tons of tight spots where you're just gonna have to confront uh, enemies and to just, you know, whoever shoots the other guy better and faster is gonna be the winner, which is great, you know, it's a, it's a gun game, it's a gun fight. Whoever wins it, you know, is, is the best man. And, uh, yeah, th this is like running and gunning at its best. They try to do that in Modern Warfare 3, which, um, Recently, it's been exactly the opposite. There's more camping on Modern Warfare 3 than I've ever seen before, it, to the point that it's ridiculous. Uh, obviously, they're gonna try to counter at that, and as you can see, that's the new uh, HUD system for the points, which is awesome. Uh, there's not gonna be pro about perks. Uh, there's not gonna be pro perks, unfortunately, so you will not be able to unlock pro perks. Uh, this has been covered already. What's gonna happen then? To counteract that, you're gonna first of all you're gonna have more perks than any Call of Duty before. Like, and another thing is you're gonna be able to use more perks than before as well. So instead of using just three, you can use up to six perks. Uh, most likely you'll end up using four to five, but you you'll have to sacrifice some attachments and some uh, some other equipment. But the gist of it is you can use at least four perks easily if you just want one weapon attachment. So that that I mean that's great. That's excellent. And uh, it, that's that's the main points I want to focus on this game. Mostly, that's the main stuff that I want to. Um, another thing that I want to, you know, put out there is basically the game. This game is gonna try to. There, there's certain things that the Black Ops 2 is gonna try to do, or Treyarch is trying to make the game be. Is first and foremost team play. To emphasize it on team play more and more and more and more. Uh, second of all, objective gameplays. Uh, if you're going to play an objective game mode, kills are very important for it, yes, but they're not the main thing on the game. The main thing on the game, the main uh, mode is the objective. You, you, okay, if you're playing domination, you have to dominate three flags or two flags to get a victory or whatever. Uh, if you're playing uh, demolition, you, you need to plant a bomb, search and destroy, you need to plant the bombs, whatever. You need to go for the objective and not just kills. This was ridiculous on uh, Modern Warfare 2 in the sense that uh, I was going for the... This, on this particular game, I was going for all the the objectives. We were dominating throughout 90% of the game. And they weren't even doing anything, we were just getting kills. Up to the point that uh, we were up like 130 to like 12. And I was 100% sure we were going to win until the other guy that gets a tactical nuke and automatically wins the game. So this was ridiculous in Modern Warfare 2 and I just, by that point, just stopped playing it. Now, luckily in Modern Warfare 3 there's no tactical nuke, but there is still mohabs and there's still a lot of, uh, well, basically camping and just not playing objectively. Even though that's, you know, they, they do still uh, offer some objective support now, they're gonna bring a lot more for it on Black Ops 2, which is I'm very excited about, which I really, really want uh, to see more. But other than that, you know, that's that's about it. I don't want to cover too much in this video because I want to, you know, cover more in future videos. Like I said before, I'm not going to do much because there's a lot of people doing this and uh, I think it's just too much. This is just my personal intake on the situation. And uh, again, this is this is a great gameplay. I'll, I'll leave you guys a link in the description so you guys can see more Black Ops 2 gameplay, like full multiplayer ga gameplays. So far, we haven't seen any zombies, but as soon as there's any gameplay of zombies mode, the new zombies mode rather, out there, I will definitely put it up uh, on this channel, both on the All Gaming blog and the All Gaming Network, which is in growing increasingly, uh, surprisingly, and really, really doing, starting to do very well, although it's still a very small channel, and I'm not getting any support from anyone, really, other than my directors, of course, and all, 
everybody that subscribes, but I'm talking about I'm not getting support from uh, you know other big YouTube channels out there. Could help out this project, but oh well, I'll do the best what I can. So that's it for this video, guys. Thanks a lot for watching, and uh, do subscribe if you want to see more, and uh, give it a like if you like the video.